Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, January 23rd, 2017 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is the expansion of my powerful vibration is the revolution. And today we have the moon continuing through Sagittarius um, and we're building to, we're building into the dark of the moon. We're building into a new moon coming at the end of this week. Got a little lala ear sitting here. <laughs> Uh, helping us, supporting us in this this uh, role. I want to mention something really quick. I don't usually do these things at the beginning, but I've been meaning to, and I don't want to forget. So YouTube's been doing a funky thing lately where I go to try to comment back to a comment, and they'll say, you can't comment for some reason. Like, it's just not letting me com make the comments. So if I don't respond to you, I like to respond to everybody, but if I don't respond to you, it's not personal. It's just YouTube's being kind of wonky, and it won't post the comments. So I appreciate all the comments, and if I don't respond to your comments, you can always come to the Facebook page because I will respond to them there. So there's that. Anyways, <laughs> on to the energy of the day. I have the best card for this and I cannot wait to get into it. But first let's get into the astro and then sum it up in this card. We have Mercury, Mercury today. Mercury continuing through Capricorn. We are not out of the shadow yet but we're nearing um, we're nearing the end of the shadow period. Mercury will reach the end of its shadow period uh, later at the end of this week, for like right around, right around the new moon energy. So ready for a new cycle. So we're finishing up those lessons, reminding us ourselves of those lessons of control that we were working on releasing, and helping us in that today is Mercury connecting to Neptune, ten degrees. So that degree of your worth. There's a lot of that worth stuff that's cycling in this astro energy today too. One of the things that's coming up today between the moon and Sagittarius, and this connection between Mercury and Neptune, is the energy of the in-between, the energy of the gray, the energy between yes and no. And I think this is an important thing to look at right now because there's so much going on about fake news and everybody's got an opinion and there's fighting all over the place about politics and, um, and worth. Worth is a really big topic around this. And I really think that we've got to like find that place in that magic, in the in-between, in the oneness, in that universe energy, in ourselves, and find where our true vibration is and just hold that. Instead of fighting, pushing against each other, pushing against people and their beliefs, pushing against this is fake news, this is true news, I gotta say, I don't know what's real and what's fake. I mean, I can do a ton of research. I'm a Sagittarius. I was born to research. I'm a Sagittarius Gemini. I was born to collect information and research, and even I get, like, tangled and twisted in all of the webs that are being weaved in and out and around all the things. So instead of that, this is a call to tune in. Tune into yourself. Figure out what's important for you. Figure out what feels good to you, what feels yum to you, and then hold that space and hold that vibration because that is where you're powerful. That's where that worth is. And it's not in trying to control everything outside of us, <laughs> the news and what's being put out there and what different people believe. Stop trying to control that. That's all that Mercury Capricorn stuff. Instead, work on those vibrations and honor that and you'll find that oneness you'll find it in that place. That's going to be really important. Also feeding into that, that moon in Sagittarius. Moon in Sagittarius wants to know what's true. Moon in Sagittarius is all about that integrity. And today, that moon in Sagittarius is meeting up with Uranus, and that moon in Sagittarius is meeting up with Venus. So that Uranus connection is a trine, 20 degrees, that degree of nurturing. So this will be where some revelations come through. And to me, I think this aha revelation it's gonna be this card. This card is so good from the Oracle uh, of the Dragon Fae. So we'll look at that in a minute. But recognize these vibrations that are wanting to come in and talk to you and take you from the fray, from the push and the pull and all that into that center energy. And then that moon squaring Venus, 20 degrees, nurturing your worth, nurturing your integrity, nurturing the energy of love. All this push and pull and hate and this and that and you're wrong, none of that's love. So you find that love in your center and then you act accordingly from that place. Now this is beautiful because Venus is going to be conjunct Chiron tomorrow. So that moon in Sagittarius is helping us sort out like all those beliefs and possibly even release ourselves from needing to know the truth outside of ourselves and instead come into 
honoring the truth within, the worth of the truth within. And tomorrow that can bring about healing on many different levels. But first you've got to come back to the center because like I said, all of this is pushing us off balance. And all of this is this, it's the shutting. You should believe this, you shouldn't believe that. This is how you should be acting. This is what you should be doing. None of that works. That's all that patriarchal stuff, which we're trying to break away from. So this is about breaking the chains of your own shoulds and instead participating in a way that is authentic to you. You bring the light by being true to you. You bring the light by being true to your vibration. And let's just say, you know, because I don't know if you got this from the energy mantra of the day, that this is going to be our first revolution evolution day of sun in Aquarius later in the day. It's going to begin, sun's going to begin at three degrees and then shift to four degrees which is that Uranus degree. So your buttons may be pushed, they may be triggered. It's all taking it back to you and taking it back to this card. I'm so excited about this card. I pulled this card and I was like, yes. <laughs> so I pulled the card, the Sovereign from the Dragon Fae. And it's a card 38, which is an 11, by the way. The Sovereign, gentle power. The Sovereign speaks, it is not our desire to possess power, but to radiate it out of every, out in ever increasing waves, sending those seedlings of empowerment into the world, taking root in all your hearts. We do not hold on. We allow this power to extend out, to flow, and to be yours, to be queen. To be the sovereign of your world is not what so many beings feel and dream it to be. It is not about the instant fulfillment of whimsical desires, nor, it is, nor is it the power of enjoying personal luxury while others suffer and lament. It is to be a caretaker and an example to all. I ask you now that if you wish to be treated as royal and as the sovereign in your world, you must become truly royal. Care for others around you. Walk amongst them, bear yourself with dignity and courage, no matter the circumstance, and know that no small thing is too humble to be of interest to you. Look around your world and see where you have confused the fulfillment of desire with the role of the sovereign, and take up the mantle of that role in your life now. It is not a burden, but a responsibility. You are queen, king. Uh, you are sovereign. You are the one who creates your world. Like it or not, you are the one who must change the order of what is and bring about the change you wish to see elsewhere by bringing it forth from within yourself. It all starts here. <laughs> over and over and over again, the messages. It starts here. These chains that we break through are our own chains and our own boundaries. And you can just stand there and radiate this energy and literally change the world. I'm not saying don't take action and don't do things, but it's saying like it comes back to here. And if you're not doing this work here, it doesn't matter what you do out there. You're going to have that unconscious energy, those shoulds, still holding that field. So the divinatory meaning is refusing to acknowledge yourself as the creator of your world. It's funny because I made a post the other day on my Facebook page that said, hey, if you're a creator, raise your vibes. And a lot of people mentioned, well, everybody's a creator. And that was my point. We're all creating this. So <laughs> let's raise our vibes. Uh, blaming authority figures and seeing only the trappings and not the humanity and the responsibility, being too influenced by others who you see as successful and powerful others, thus giving away your power. So it's, again, coming back to you as the creator, not taking care of the little things in your own domain and seeing what is yours now is unworthy of great care or interest. So it's finding the worthiness in caring for yourself, nurturing yourself, and holding that beautiful vibration that you came to offer the world because we are the world and we are in this all together. Whether you agree with your neighbor or not, we are all in this together. So that's it for today. I got Lala on my lap so you can't really see her. But she's here giving us some good, happy vibrations. Be the sovereign. And I will see you tomorrow. Oh, book a reading if you want to dive in deeper. Namaste.